In the beginning was the telegraph, allowing short messages to be sent long distances. Here is a typical advert, a triumph of typography and emotional engagement. Later on, the adverts became more sophisticated and reflected social change, as the high-class hedonism and endless social activity of the 30s gave way to something more serious, like worrying whether your son or husband was coming home alive. Fast forward to the 1970s, and the telephone was in widespread use, allowing women to talk to each other about whatever it is they find interesting or important. Women are clearly the target of this British telecom ad, offering a range of colours and positioning the phone as another piece of household furniture. BT had the monopoly at this stage, but by the mid-80s, privatisation had happened, Mercury Communications were providing an alternative service, and this famous series of ads with Maureen Lipman as Jewish mother BT encouraged us to use our phones more with humour and pathos. Although comic, the target is still mum. She deals with the grandson with low grades and the son who's too busy at work to come to dinner. The phone is a tool to hold the family together. What little mobile competition there was came from the car phone, but as this early Vodafone advert shows, this was then a tool for yuppies only. Flash cars and flash suits, the order of the day. Into the 1990s, a mobile technology was coming on leaps and bounds, but was not yet ubiquitous and needed introducing gently to a suspicious public. This Mercury 1 to 1 ad is all about the product, and demonstrates pay-as-you-go in terms people will understand, as the familiar payphone. Vodafone, meanwhile, were targeting the younger market with a spoof of the X-Files. The most interesting thing about it again is the novelty of the technology. BT's response was to make It's Good to Talk more than a slogan. It became a real emotional pitch. These Bob Hoskins fronted commercials are once again aimed at the mother and homemaker, whether receiving a phone call from a stiff upper lipped husband or reminding everyone to send Graham a birthday card. Into the 21st century, and mobile phones are now everywhere and owned by everyone, as this ethnic minority friendly ad for low cost smartphones from T Mobile shows. Mobile networks no longer need to explain the product to their customers and can instead concentrate on targeting specific demographics, like this blokey, Top Gear friendly online ad for Vodafone, starring Lewis Hamilton and Jensen Button. In response, BT ads have also moved on, showing a diverse range of products, including broadband and television. But once again, even though the family is no longer the traditional nuclear one, the mum is at the centre of it all. Even when the man is babysitting his stepdaughter and her friends, he's being the mother. Perhaps this taps into a universal truth. After all, even now, a father picking up the phone to his student's son will usually just respond with, Oh, hang on. I'll just get your mum. The common mayfly has a life expectancy of just one day. But is he miserable about it? Not one bit. He fills his day with the things he loves. He soars. He swoops. He savours every moment. Maybe there's a lesson in this for us longer living creatures. Just think, if we embrace life like the mayfly, what a life that would be. Vodafone, make the most of now. Phones are conspicuous by their absence in this slot for Vodafone. It portrays the short life of the mayfly, encouraging us to follow its example and live life to the full. It's clearly aimed at men. Though the fly is genderless, it is referred to as he from the start. It surfs, plays sports, and has a courtship dance with a smaller, pinker mayfly, ending with them coming together to create a heart shape. Our attention is caught at the start with the juxtaposition of nature documentary style visuals with a cockney voiceover and jaunty piano soundtrack. The birth at the start and sunset at the end reinforce the idea of time passing, 
quickly followed by the strap line, make the most of now. Beryl doesn't look too happy, does she? And you know why that is, it's her birthday, and the doormat's a bit light on birthday cards. Actually, what really happened was this. There were plenty of cards. Do you know why? It's me. Mum, don't forget Gran's birthday. Helen, before you go on holiday, send Gran a card, all right? I know you're broke, Tom, so I've got you a card. You can sign it when you come over, all right? I'd like to order some flowers, please. Don't ask me why women bring round more than men. Maybe they care more. I know one thing, though. When they count the blower, things happen. Oh, the flowers are beautiful. And I had a lovely lot of cards. It's good to talk. <laughs> Behave yourself. This BT ad follows a fairly traditional storytelling template. There's an old lady in a house with antique furniture and more than one dog, so we quickly assume she's a widow. The lighting is cold and blue, her dog is misbehaving, and she sighs at the single card on the doormat. What's interesting here is that the lighting doesn't change when we see that she actually received several cards. Instead, we wait until we see how it happened before the warm yellow glow appears. Our hero is always on the move, plumping cushions, having breakfast or preparing food as she calls round the family. We hear hints of a broke student's son. They're all signs that mums, the target of the ad, can relate to. Finally, we see the older lady at her happiest. Bob Hoskins says it's good to talk, and the dog barks in agreement. Job done. So customers can get priority tickets to thousands of gigs across the UK up to 48 hours before general release. Takes priority to 2020 to register. Young people and teenagers, girls and boys, though perhaps favouring the latter, are the target of this ad for O2's Priority Moments, starring the Foo Fighters. A slow zoom draws us into the first shot, which for a brief moment appears to be any old house, before first a guitar and then the rest of Dave Grohl come into shot. The whole ad is built around suspense. The creepy music, the camera following behind him, the slow motion, the brief bursts of noise and feedback as guitars are plugged in, the glances between band members all suggesting an explosion of noise to come. The anticipation is heightened with the dramatic opening of the garage doors to let in the noise and light of an arena rock show. Then, just as the drummer counts them in, it ends. And only then, when they've got your full attention, do they tell you what it's all about.